Hi, it's Auntie Mimi. And here we're going to start our next brain training class. Hope all is well. Yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about waking up with a gratitude attitude. Or the attitude of gratitude, right? And today we're going to continue. We're going to continue how to have the best day. How to like make the foundation, the beginning of your day so strong that the rest of the day is just going to be full of strength, full of your heart and your mind being filled up with positive qualities and positive mindsets so that you can handle whatever happens to you throughout the day. So most of you know, as, uh, as we, the Jewish people, we start our day with prayer. And, and most of you may know, it's just a wonderful thing to do, you know, because you want to thank Hashem. You want to thank God for everything that God gives you. And yes, it is a way to show our appreciation and gratefulness to Hashem. Not that he needs it, right? <laughs> Meaning it's really, really more for us. It's really more for us to get in the habit of praising him so we could continuously be more ready to praise other people. It's really about us. Um, how we can be a better and best version of our true self. So we are taught that through the words of prayer, that our essence of who we are has a chance to be revealed. And, you know, children go to school and they're taught certain things about prayer. And sometimes they feel like forced to pray. And the schools are trying to do their best to teach why it's so important to pray. But sometimes in school, when you're taught things, you're just like, I don't know, maybe you're not paying attention or maybe it doesn't, it doesn't really inspire you. Sometimes children are just tired of being forced to do something they don't want to do. So this class hopefully will help you understand why it's so amazing for you to pray and to understand why we're doing it and to understand what's going on and to understand deep secrets of your brain training through the act of prayer. Because yes, the number one place to start brain training is during your prayer session. Yes, we're taught that during prayer, we have this like incredible extra gift from Hashem beaming at us to help our mind get stronger. What you might say? What does my words that I'm saying here make my brain stronger? Might not make sense, but if you think about it, it does make sense because you're using your mind while you're praying, right? So you're exercising the power of your mind, but it's more than that actually, right? It's really more than that. It's something spiritual. It's something that you can't put a finger on that's happening. It, it, it's, I think I said it before, like if you put egg in a, in a boiling water, somehow it gets hard, but you put a carrot in boiling water, it gets soft. It's like, it's interesting. How does that happen? Like, it, it's something you can't really put your finger on, but you see it happening. So the same thing when we pray every day, it's a time that we are using our brain especially if you're really thinking about what you're saying. If you're just blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're using your brain, you're using your eyes to, to read, you know, Ooh, what's that, what word, you know? But, um, but the thing is, it's like, it's more than that. If you 
especially pay attention to the words because when you're paying attention to the words you're saying it's like you're using your brain in a deeper way and today we're going to have some ideas how to brain train uh your brain <laughs> so that you can pray more in a way that will give you those results of getting a stronger mind so that it could really dictate how you want to feel because remember i keep saying thoughts create emotions so if you have a mushy mind then you're not going to be able to be able to have that like control over how you feel because so many bad thoughts are coming to you then you're going to have not good feelings so if during prayer you are training your mind to focus on what you want to think about oh i have to I, i need to focus on this this word ah not about i want to play baseball and not that i can't wait to you know no i'm focusing i'm forcing my mind to focus on this so then outside of prayer you already exercised your mind to think this and not that So if some sister or brother and said something not nice to you and you're constantly thinking, "Oh, how could they say that?" and I don't and then you get sad. But then if you could practice in prayer to focus on what you wanted to think about and not what you shouldn't think about at the time, then outside of prayer, you have a stronger mind to say, "I want to f- I want to focus on my you know good thoughts of gratitude and i want to focus on okay she's not 100% okay and okay i'm not 100% okay and then you can like change your feelings about it cuz we're taught that pray-